right guys I'm back this is part two of lesson 3.8 swift coding for everyone I'm saying our Edwards all right so I helped you guys out I made the font a little bit bigger as you can see uh, we're on our um, first view controller here actually this is what I want to do so we'll um you'll make sure you click on your view controller file and what we're going to do is we're going to right click on view controller and we're going to refactor it and we'll say rename and I just want to do this so I want to say so we'll say first view controller since that's what we're actually printing out we'll hit enter uh, actually we can do it up here in the comments although it doesn't matter but I just like to do it that way so we'll do it that way and as you can see we'll go back to the main dial storyboard and when we click on it you'll see that it's updated all right cool got that so now we know that our last two methods of uh, view will disappear and view dis did disappear we're not going to run unless we added a second view controller and that's exactly what we're going to do but first we're going to add a tab bar controller so with our view controller highlighted on the main dot storyboard or in our interface builder whatever you want to call it we're going to go up to um, editor and we're going to choose embed in and then we're going to go tab bar controller right here all right and so I'm going to organize mine in in this following way you can do it however you like I've got a lot of space um, so I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm going to drag it underneath all right and um, I'm also going to give this a color by clicking on it and going to the attributes and inspector the background and I'm just gonna choose this uh, like this uh, peachy color or whatever all right so I got that for the first view controller and then I'm going to drag on the object library it's the first thing that pops up uh, as you can see a second view controller add that to the scene and we're also going to um, create a segue uh, from this tab bar controller to our uh, second view controller here by doing this so we're going to click on the tab bar up here and we're going to control click and drag from the tab bar controller down here we're going to release and down here where it says relationship segue we're going to select view controllers and as you can see another item popped up on the tab bar controller itself all right and so i'm going to give this another color i'm going to with the view itself highlighted as you can see over here um, in this pane so we've got the view highlighted itself uh, I'm going to give this a, a distinct color and instead of just white and I'll just uh, give it this uh, this blue color alright cool my favorite color so um, now what we can do is or now what we have to do is we have to actually create a new view controller file uh, because uh, any one any other view controller that you um, add you will have to uh, add the file um, yourself manually so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to our folder over here and I'm going on in the life cycle um, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to select new file and it's gonna be a cocoa touch class and I'm going to it's already up there so it's a subclass of UI view controller that's exactly how you want it to appear just like that alright and then I'm going to say second view controller just name it that because we have our first view controller already I'm going to hit create and I'm going to drag this from the bottom to the top right underneath the second view controller and I'm going to delete this override did it receive memory warning function and I'm also going to I'm going to save that command say command s to save it go back to main dot storyboard and with the second view controller highlighted I'm going to make sure that it connects that we connect it and that it knows that um, this second scene or screen is associated with this view controller file and code so what I'm going to do is with it highlighted as you can see I'm going to go to the uh, identity inspector and I'm going to start typing the second and as you can see it popped up I'm going to hit enter to confirm alright so now it is connected and we're going to do the same thing basically um, so here I'm going to 
write a print statement that says print and we'll just say second view controller view did load all right got that and then what's next is the view will appear right so view will appear and then we're going to say super remember to call the parent classes implementation super dot view will appear and then we'll just hit animate it for the property that it needs and then we're going to say print second view controller view will appear all right next uh, is the view did appear finally right view did appear all right super again dot view did appear animate it i'm gonna make some space all right view uh did appear same thing print i could simply copy and paste but i like typing uh controller view did appear and then next uh, view will disappear right view will disappear again call the super classes implementation animate it print uh, second view controller view uh, will this appear and then last but not least or I guess it can't be least uh, view did disappear super dot view did disappear animated print uh, second oh, gotta get the quotation marks in there set if I could spell view did this appear in all right cool so finally done with all that stuff so now what we're going to do now is we're going to build and run our app we're going to see what happens let's see let's see the order of things all right so we've got our that happened very quickly so as you can see in our console area down here we've got our view controller view did load view will appear and view did and view did appear but what happened because the second view controller stuff didn't print out and why not is because our app is actually saving memory by not loading it until it needs it so this is what we're going to do all we're going to do is simply click on the next tab to load the next one and as you can see so down here, uh, we've got second view controller view did load, second view controller view will appear. And then we've got uh, the first view controller will disappear because we clicked on the button, right? And then we've got first view controller view did disappear. And then uh, finally, second view controller view did appear, all right? And so, yeah, that's the order of operations. and. Uh, I mean guys that's basically it I mean we can stop and, and keep running this app if you want to so you can see the different um, uh, order of things uh, but that's basically it that's how that's the flow of control in uh, the view controller uh, lifecycle of um, these methods being called all right and so definitely read up uh, you know on your own of, of these methods and uh, make sure there's a challenge at the end of this so make sure you guys do the challenge and I will see you guys on the lab portion of this um, of this lesson. But thank you guys once again for joining me. This is St. R. Edwards with Swift Coding for Everyone. Happy coding to you guys. And y'all take care.